Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, tonight is the Harvest Moon. Uh, the first of two full moons that's going to happen in October. Normally, the Harvest Moons happens during September. But because of the equinox, uh, this year is going to happen tonight, October 1st, 2020. According to a Twitter post by Albert Raymond, on Halloween night, there will be also a full moon called a blue moon. That moon, the first time since World War II, is going to be visible around the entire world. Tonight's full moon might appear red in many locations, mostly because of the pollution and the fires and smoke in the sky. And it will appear to be full for about three days, appearing about 5 p.m. Eastern Time. But then there's other websites that say because of its orbit, um, when your sun sets, the moon will be rising. It will continue to look like a full moon through Saturday morning, October 3rd. The last Halloween full moon visible around the globe came in 1944. There was a Halloween full moon for, for some locations in 1955, but that did not include Western North America and the Western Pacific. According to CNET, while this year's Halloween full moon will be visible in all parts of the globe, that doesn't mean every single citizen will have a view. Residents across both North America and South America will see it, as will India, all of Europe, and much of Asia. But while Western Australians will see it, those in the central and eastern parts of the country will not. And then on Space.com, they say that tomorrow night, Friday night, the moon will be escorted across the sky by Mars, now shining with this unaccustomed brilliance due to its unusual closeness to the Earth. The orange-yellow Mars will glow just above the almost full moon. Well, in this case, it's going to be a full moon. Then there's the question, will a full moon cause earthquakes? Well, if a fault line is ready to rupture, yes, it could. But just the gravitational pull of the moon being on, on one side and the sun on the opposite that wouldn't cause the earthquake unless it's ready to rupture. Historical earthquakes during a full moon was on December 26, 2004, a magnitude 9.1. And then one in Chile in 2010 and the Great Alaskan Earthquake in 1964. The New York Times has an article, I'll give you a link to this, and Susan Hoag's research about earthquakes and full moons. Down by Westmoreland, um, near the Salton Sea, there's been over 959 earthquakes. In the past week, there's been 95 earthquakes of a magnitude 4.5 or greater. And USGS says there is a very small chance that there could be a magnitude 7 or greater earthquake. It's a small chance within the next seven days in that location there by the Salton Sea. So we'll just have to wait and see. What are your thoughts? Do you think the moon causes earthquakes? Well, it pulls on the earth and creates the tides. Um, like I said, I believe that they can if a fault line is ready to rupture. Yeah, I think that could be the triggering mechanism for uh, an earthquake. What are your thoughts? Thank you for watching. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.